Hello everyone, this is the Archfiend and welcome back to another edition of Ask the Archfiend here. Friday, August 14th, 2009, over at theawesomearchfiend.com. Uh, please pay attention or stay tuned till the end of this episode. I got a somewhat minor major announcement to make regarding um, some things that may be changing in the near future. But anyways, you guys are here to ask questions and I'm here to answer them and I'm Thank you for everyone that showed up here. It's another great turnout here on my website. And so, yeah. First question. We're going right to Wiffle Boy right off the bat. Can I start asking the questions? Yes. You may all start asking questions. Do I plan to have kids? Um, that's a good question. Um, not as of yet, but you never know. Maybe somewhere down the road, but we'll cross that bridge when I get there. Summerfest or Summer Slam? Um, I like Summerfest. Um, the fact that the name has been said wrong for the annual Summer Spectacular from the World Wrestling Entertainment, even though I said the World Wrestling Entertainment. See, it throws you off because they're not WWF anymore. But um, yeah, I'm going to go Summerfest from now on, now that that name just got totally screwed up by a tool that hosted Raw a few weeks ago. Why is chicken blue when it rots? It's a good question. I don't know. Um... I don't think I've necessarily seen it turn blue when it rots. It usually just kind of gets like, you know, fuzzy and moldy and kind of greenish, but I could be wrong about that MB69. Do you feel like chicken tonight? Um, no, but that was a fantastic commercial from, I'd say, about the early 90s. Um, the I feel like chicken tonight. And another commercial I liked was the Wings to Go commercial where the guy, like, would get up on the counter and he sings the Wings to Go song and he flaps his arms like a chicken. Um, let's see if anyone out there remembers that song or anyone's old enough to remember that commercial. But, um, anyways, um, would I rather sub for sub or send out sub bots? Um, I'd rather do none of the above. And, um, yeah, most of you probably know where that question's coming from. And after this week, Jesus Christ, it's just been packed full of spectacular entertainment over on the Archfiend's channel. That's for damn sure. But, um, I'd rather use neither of the above. I think they're both... Um, a shitty tactic that a lot of people try and pad their accounts with. And, yeah, you've seen all my videos. If not, look them up. Will the world end when Michael Vick wins the Nobel Peace Prize? No, but my life will end because I will put a gun to my head and blow my brains out if that guy ever, ever wins a Nobel Peace Prize. And, by the way, you know who that is in my background? That's the goddamn backup quarterback to the Philadelphia Eagles. Oh, wait a second. Why is there not a number seven on his jersey? That's because that's A.J. Feely. That's number 14. That's someone who deserves to wear a green jersey. That's not no shithead dog murderer right there. Anyways, um, in honor of the Philadelphia Eagles' brilliant pickup of Michael Vick, I have made the real backup quarterback of the Philadelphia Eagles the background of this show tonight. Do I like the game, dude? He's actually pretty good. I like him. I have no complaints about him. He can be a little irritating and a little bit corny, but um, the game dude is all right. And now begins the hate mail. Why am I not annoying? That question itself was annoying. So you just like you just stopped like the time space continuum by asking a completely ridiculous question. When is episode thirty of the Marsh of the Morshoe show? I thought he already did 30. Isn't it 31 that's coming out next? I don't know. I haven't paid paying attention. Ask Morshoe. How about that? How about I'm not Morshoe, so I wouldn't know. Do I think the world will end in war? No, because um, there will be um, like people in like Mongolia or something that like live in caves that like no one has an interest in bombing with nuclear weapons and... They're going to be the only ones left in the planet when, like, all the major, like, urban areas get done killing each other and all the first through third world nations. And all you have left is a few nomads roaming the earth. So, um, Mongolia will be world emperor someday. They are going to be the great mega power of the world. So, everyone, tip your cups to Mongolia. Okay, next question. All right, Mario Kev, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, yeah, I'm not going to read that question. I, I, I just had, I, I saw within the first four, I didn't even read the question. I saw within the first four words, the word anal, and leave it to Mario Kev to ask something ridiculous like that, so I'm not even going to read the question. Does Mario ask stupid questions? You're goddamn right he does. What is my favorite Autobot and, uh, God damn it, that gets asked every week, Rodri. Jesus Christ, I, I think I've answered that two separate times. What's my favorite Autobot and Decepticon? I told you Optimus Prime for the Autobots. My favorite Decepticon is Soundwave for the five billionth time, biatch. Bart or Homer? Homer. 
Bart's corny as hell. You know, I'm not really a big fan of Bart. Um, on top of that, Bart is voiced by a wacko Scientologist that gives all her money to that cuckoo loony church to help build a rocket ship to shoot them off to Xenuland. But that's a story for another day. You mad? Of course I'm mad! Michael Vick is on my goddamn Philadelphia Eagles! Hell yeah, I'm mad! I want you to stick your heads out your windows and everyone say, I'm as mad as hell and I'm not gonna take this anymore! Alright, hopefully a few of you do that and don't make me look like a fool. Will Dave every become useful? Yes, Dave will every become useful every day from here on out. He's gonna be useful. Are you looking forward to the Castlevania movie? I did not know there... Oh, yes, I didn't actually know there was going to be a Castlevania movie. And no, not really, because um, for the track record of video game movies, they've pretty much sucked. <laughs> Shut up, IGSRJ. Pencil or pen? Um, I love pen. I, I hate pencil. Pencil is so lame, but given my bad handwriting, you'd think I would you know, rely more on a pencil because... My God, I have to just erase and rewrite stuff just so people can actually read it. But anyways, Jesus Christ, Rodri. Someone's already asked me three separate times, do I like Alexander 4488? Rodri, you're dropping the ball here, buddy. And then Nazi, Nazi number five, clever name, asks, is game, game Dude good? So apparently this is Game Dude Night over on the theawesomearchfiend.com. Favorite Cedar Point ride? Um... It's such a cop out to say Millennium Force. I refuse to answer that question. Do you hate Donovan McNabb now, too? I'm disappointed in Donovan McNabb. I mean, Five is still the leader of that team, but um, in a way, he's kind of getting put up to say what he's been saying and, you know, how great he is. And by the way, the Phillies just knocked a two-run shot out of the park. Christina, look at that. Oh, it's, Atlanta's not leading the game now, are they? Suck it, Atlanta. Phils take the lead. I think that was Chase. Oh, look at that. Chase Utley. Chase Utley. Woot. Best goddamn player on that team. I like them apples, Christina. Anyways, um... Christina's from Georgia, by the way, and she has terrible taste in baseball because she roots for those shithead Braves. Um, why are animals tasty? Animals are tasty because meat in general is tasty. I mean, I'm sure human beings are tasty as well. And um, Do I like Slipknot? No, I don't like Slipknot. Um, the reason being is because I don't like to dye my hair black and slide a razor across my wrists. That's why I don't like Slipknot. Why? Oh, I already read Why Do Animals Taste So Good. Now I'm reading questions twice. I'm sorry. I keep, I keep looking up at the screen because now Ryan Howard's going to drop one into the governor's backyard in Atlanta. Um, yeah, anyways. Uh, yeah, do I have a wireless keyboard? Yes, I do, actually. And I have a wireless mouse as well, and I rarely use it, but um, I do have a wireless version of both. And shit or piss, this guy always asks that. What is, what is his fetish with that? He always asks, shit or piss. Like, I don't know, dude. Go, go shit and piss in a cup and drink it. Don't actually do that. That's disgusting. <coughs> Excuse me. Do you regret cooking my dog? Um, no. And that's a very, 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 very idiotic question, especially now. Worst food ever. Worst food ever is some stupid grain crackers that I bought from Wegmans. Um, it's some, like, ridiculous multi-grain cracker. It, like, supposedly has, like, you know, stuff that would, like, um, stuff that cures death in it and it's like filled with all sorts of antioxidants and shit like that anyways the stuff tasted i would say cardboard but cardboard tastes better not that i've eaten cardboard but um it, it tastes better trust me um yeah worst we ever tasted some stupid multi-grain cracker that i got from wegmans that cost like six dollars for like a box of like uh, of 10 crackers that are size of like uh, the the graham cracker packs that you get in like the honey made graham cracker packs anyways should i unban the dipshit from earlier um i don't know i didn't see who you banned from earlier but if he's being a dipshit and i trust your judgment dave and by the way dave is the big winner of the honorary moderator privilege here tonight because the trivia question tonight was what year was aj feely born he was born in 1977 the same year the archfiend was born 
So, is Harry a douchebuster for making that image up? Harry is an honorary douchebuster. Um, Harry's artwork, for those of you who don't know, he submitted a shitload of artwork to my website, and it is quite possibly some of the most fantastic artwork that I've ever... Well, actually, it isn't quite possibly. It is the best artwork that's been submitted to me. I do not know where Mayu is, Rodri. That's a good question. Um, she's... She's a little bit under the weather, so she's kind of hit or miss for showing up on these right now. So we'll let her. She gave me a, a note from her doctor, so she has an excused absence. Is Paris cute? As in Paris the city or Paris Hilton? Um, Paris Hilton's pretty hot. I mean, I wouldn't want to stick my cock or my enemy's cock in her for fear of what they might come down with, but um, she's pretty cute. Uh, do, do you eat a lot of stuff at Thanksgiving, even though you can't eat turkey? Um, yeah, not really. Um, for those of you who don't know, um, like Thanksgiving is like one of the, the dark days for vegetarians around the world. It's like the number one animal slaughter day, if you will, or consumption day, however you want to put it. And on top of that, my first day on this planet, not to give my birthday away, um, <laughs> I was born on Thanksgiving Day. So go figure. And now I'm a vegetarian of almost 10 years. How about that? Isn't that something else? What is my favorite Autobot and Decepticon? My favorite, I'm going to, Rodri, you can watch this. Um, my favorite Autobot was this guy. That's who my favorite Autobot was. Let me let the room know. That's who my favorite Autobot was. So, um, <laughs> is wrestling fake? From the last time I checked, I think it was fake. Um, I might not be too sure of that, but, um, I think it is fake. Um, silver foxes suck because they have wrinkly skin and, um, and, um, not a lot of energy. So let, let's go with that. That's why silver foxes suck. Are you getting to the cedar point? <laughs> are you getting to cedar point by train or plane? I'm going to jog there because, um, unlike the average American, I can, I can move my feet and, physically get around on this planet just by what God gave me on my own two stumps. And we'll go ahead and unban Rodri. We'll give him a chance to ask more questions about the Autobots and Decepticons here tonight. Are you getting on any planes, fool? Not lately and not in the near future, so yeah. Is this the most banfield ATA to date? Probably. I don't know. Um I only noticed three so far, so, and yeah, so far no one has to been banned too awful much from these shows, so you guys have been behaving pretty well, and <laughs> did I shout on you, shout on you, um, nah, I shout on you, didn't shout on me, and he's a pretty alright guy, so, um, no need for my fans to shit on him either, but I know how my fans are gonna be nice and cordial to him, so, you guys aren't gonna be a bunch of fanboy punks, anyways, Favorite Mario enemy? That's a pretty good question. That's a that's a unique question. I I like that friendly Baron. That's a that's a very very decent question. If only I had an answer, and if only that ball did not go foul, it would have been another two run blast. Damn Jason Worth. No, I'm just kidding. I love Jason Worth. He's great. Uh, my favorite Mario enemy has got to be. Ah oh, shit. Um. Wart. I'm going to say wart because you kill that bitch with the mighty power of vegetables. Vegans for life, bitch. Suck on those artichokes, you pussy. Did you know that the wife beater should remain banned? Did I know that the wife meter, the wife beater should remain banned? I don't even know who we're talking about, but that sounds like a good plan. Um, who would win in a fight, dragons or robots? You know, dragons be fire and dra dragons breathe fire, and they're very large, but robots can, like, shoot lasers and stuff. Um, I'd really have to know the specific of robots because, I mean, if it was, like, a couple little Terminators, technically, I mean, I think dragons would just, like, like, like a dragon would just, like, grab the Terminators, like, by their head and, like, um, like, like, just, just drop them in, like, the top of a tree and let them sit there forever or put them on the top of the castle and let them never get down, um, so it depends. Yeah, I mean, I mean, but it could be like you know, big, big ass Mecha Godzilla that comes over and just like destroys a dragon's ass. So I need more specifics on that. Is anyone listening to you? I'm listening to you, and you know what? You have Vega as your um 
as your picture there, TS Surgery or whatever your name was. Um, oh, I know who TS is. He's, I've seen some of his videos actually on YouTube. Um, yeah, you have Vega as your picture, so you're a pretty cool cat. That was my favorite Street Fighter character, by the way, Vega. Eat shit or collect tea? Um, you know what? I, I'm going to have to go with eating shit because if I collect tea, that's going to be um, something I have in common with IGSRJ, and I just cannot have that. Cannot have that. Anyways. Um, oh, let's see here. Did I say that? Oh, yeah, my favorite enemy. In, I say I'm backtracking here. I was trying to think if I didn't answer that question about the favorite Mario enemy, and I said work. Favorite song ever? Probably Christina Aguilera's Beautiful. Um, I think that's a fantastic song. And <laughs> came out, it came out during like my senior year in college. And oh shit, did we just get a three-run blast? No. What is with these balls going just foul? You gotta be kidding me. Holy shit. Ball went 500 yards and it was like a foot foul. Who was that? Damn it. I keep looking up every time there's contact on the ball. All right, it was about 10 feet foul. I over-exaggerated. The replay looked a little worse than the first shot. Sorry, guys. The Phillies are on. Goddamn fighting Phils are on, all right? Is it okay if I pay attention to that a little bit during this? Anyways, um, did I annoy you? Yeah, you did annoy me, Rodri. And you keep asking questions, too, about people that are not to be brought up here as well. That was Pedro Feliz that just knocked that foul. It's all right, Pedro. We'll, we'll, we'll forgive you for that. And he knocks right into a double play. Pedro Feliz, you scumbag piece of shit. Um, and favorite YT Watchdog video is that video where he makes fun of the people that purposely set up that girl to make a MySpace video. Um, oh God, I wish I could remember the title of it, but, um, it, it's, it's one of his most popular videos. It's one of the things he's most legendary for on YouTube where, um, those girls, they all got arrested along with the two guys because they were going to film themselves beating up one of the female friends or just like an enemy of one of the female friends. They're going to film it, put it on MySpace and become uber e famous with it. Mario Kev or Wario Kev? Um, I'm going to have to go with Wario Kev. I don't know who Wario Kev is, but he's, he's probably better than Mario Kev. My favorite Archfiend video. Um, geez, that's not too egotistical to ask me that, but uh, if I had to say, what is my favorite video? Um, favorite video that I made. Um, I mean, there's a lot of videos that I made that I like that people just like didn't catch on and like too much. Um, oh man, that's a that's a damn good question. I would say my favorite video is probably the one that I had the most genuine passion for, and I actually is the only video that I was ever angry is my Six Flags rant. Um, that was probably about the most real that you're ever going to see me. I mean, I was more real in that than in that Michael Vick video I made last night. Um, I mean, I was genuinely pissed. I mean, that's about as honest an emotion you're going to get out of me. So um, I like how that came off, and I love the response I got from it. So, yeah, that's my favorite video. Have I ever met Chris? Um, I've met about 50 different people in my life named Chris, so yes, I have met them. Is Wario Kev underrated? Um, <laughs> yes, you're pretty underrated. And I just realized before I answered a question, I said I don't know who Wario Kev is, and it was goddamn Wario Kev that asked it. So boy, boy is my face red. Ha ha ha. Biggest bug you ever saw. Um, I was going to say um, probably the National Science Museum in Philadelphia, the National, what the hell is that museum called? Um, the Academy of Natural Science in Philadelphia. They have like a bug displays there and I've seen like some large ass like hornets and shit. By the way, all hornets need to die. Every single hornet on the planet needs to be killed. Um, look up a little video on YouTube called um, 30 Hornets versus, um, I think it's like 3,000 bees. Yeah, just type in like 30 Hornets in the search bar on YouTube and, and, and look at the videos that pop up. Goddamn savages, I'll tell you. All right, you know what? We're going to narrow it down to three more questions here. We're getting kind of um, long here a little bit, so you know how this goes. I'm going to answer the fifth question that comes up three times. One, two, three, four, five. Is MB Wrestler 87 fat? I'm not gonna say the f bomb here. You know how I roll with that. I don't know who MB Wrestler 87 is, but um, he very well may be fat, and that is tragic if he is. And I so don't care. One, two, three, four, five. 
damn it, this guy again. This guy's getting like 500 questions answered. Is T.S. Slay a nerd? No, and he's asking me shit that I have no idea about. Who invited this guy to the party? Watch him get the next question. One, two, three, ha ha, four. Watch him get the next one here. <laughs> Come on! Jerky the turkey or Samster the hamster? Um, I hate Jerky the turkey, and that guy sends me goddamn messages every single day. Samster the hamster is a guy that comes in here every now and then, and um, he doesn't bother me, even though he's even though he's Canadian, doesn't bother me. Ah, oh, what the hell? Bonus question. One more question with the fifth one that comes up, and it better not be that M69 guy. One. Two. <laughs> Boy, you guys are slow with questions. Three. Four. Uh-oh. Five. Why is Ask the Arch Fiend in uh, half an hour now? Um, it's been pretty much close to around a half hour most times. Most of the times it runs around 20, 25 minutes usually. And, um, yeah, let's see. Um, I'll look for one last epic question, then I'll get to my little bit of news here. And, um... Uh, Harry, I don't know what Death Note is. Oh, actually, I know it's that book. Um, can I turn lesbian straight? That is a fantastic question to end on. Um, I've seen your hair TS surgery, and it is quite possibly some of the most fantastic hair on the history of the planet. So I think you could turn anyone straight, buddy. And um, no homo about it, but I think you can turn anyone straight. Um, so anyways, um, this concludes the Ask the Archfiend portion here, and I'll just let the questions keep scrolling through while I talk about what happens here. Um, pretty much this is the update here, people, okay? Um, next week, there's not going to be an Ask the Archfiend here for um, a number of reasons. One, I won't physically be here to answer the questions, but two... I was doing a few things this week, one of which was um, doing that Long Box Tetris Episode 3. And when I was going through to do it, um, what I did is, if you remember, I just answered questions that you guys asked me and asked the Arch Fiend, and I turned that into an extra episode. So people that didn't get their questions answered here, they got them answered there instead. And to make a long story short here, people, I realize that this is kind of losing its luster right now. And doing this on a weekly basis is pretty much generating similar questions for the most part. And if you guys don't believe me, look back at the past episodes. And this isn't staying as fresh. And in all honesty, it's getting kind of boring in my opinion. Now, this is not the end of Ask the Arch Fiend. I will be coming back to do this, but it is going to be on a more spaced out time basis. This isn't something I'm going to do on a weekly basis. And on top of that, this is not something that I can keep giving up, you know, an hour or so every Friday night to film this, upload it. And, you know, so anyways, um, if I do do it again, it's probably going to be sometime during the week. And I will be making announcements and tell you what, guys, if I do do it every time. A new one happens since I'm going to have to change this up here. I will put up here when the next Ask the Archfiend is. So if you come to my website, which is theawesomearchfiend.com, I'm going to put up here the next Ask the Archfiend is such and such date. And that's going to be pretty much it here, people. So um, by the way, click the picture of YT Watchdog when you come to my website. Just do it. Um, and that's the clock for the... New Jersey time, in case you ever wonder if your time matches up and you're here at the right time and blah, blah, blah. So anyways, people, that concludes this edition of Ask the Arch Fiend and the Atlanta Braves just tied up the game. And with that being said, have a good night. Go Phils. Screw you, Michael Vick.